Today on Powerhouse Primers, we're going to be showing you four different back exercises that are going to be great if you're trying to change up what you've been doing in your back because maybe you feel like you're not getting a lot of results with the time that you're spending in the gym. Or you could take any one of the exercises that we show you and you could substitute it in for one of the things that you're doing already in your back routine. Back is a huge area of muscle and even if somebody is not uh, training just for the purposes of increasing muscle tissue size, it's going to be an area that you want to definitely make sure you're hitting with your resistance training routine. Whether your goals are burning up body fat, getting stronger, just being a little bit more functional in life, or definitely increasing uh, the muscle tissue in your back. Remember, all the great Mr. Olympias have had awesome uh, billboard backs. Welcome to Powerhouse Primers. I'm your trainer, Graham Seacamp, right here at Powerhouse Gym in Berlin, Connecticut. And tonight we're going to be talking all about exercises for your back. First exercise up is barbell rows. This is an old school favorite, and if you do it correctly, it's going to be a great one to target all those muscles in your back. The most important thing to remember with a barbell row is to keep the knees slightly bent and also to keep the back flat. You should be able to draw an imaginary line between the hip, the shoulder, and the ear and have a straight line. If the back arches, that can cause injury to the lower back. You also want to make sure that you're squeezing those shoulder blades as the elbows move up. And there you have it, barbell rows. All right, now that you're done with three to four sets of the barbell row, we're moving on to cable rows, except we're not doing these seated as most gyms have seated cable row stations. That's a great exercise, but we're gonna show you something a little bit different. one arm cable rows. The great thing about the cable version of the row is that you get constant tension from the cable. The other nice thing too is, once you start using heavier dumbbells, they get very large and they can kind of interrupt your range of motion. With a cable, you can just pull it right alongside the body. And once you're done on that side, just switch it over for the other side. Once again, you still want to make sure that you're keeping the integrity of the spine, keeping it nice and flat, making sure that you're not rounding the lower back. After three to four sets of one-arm cable rows, next up is going to be the pull-up. Now, pull-ups can be very difficult for people to actually get 10, 11, 12 repetitions with their own body weight, but we've got a special trick for you tonight. What we're going to do is we're going to show you how you continue to do the pull-up with proper form, but when you can't do any more, then we're going to break it down into a pull-down with a cable. And they're really both the same exercise because we're not going to take any rest in between. We'll, we'll show you how it's done. Just keep watching. With a pull-up, you want to grab the handles so that your arms form about a 90 degree angle and just make sure that you don't start swinging and swaying. Keep it strict. You might only get a couple reps. Then you want to get from one station to the next as quickly as possible. Once you're doing the pull-downs, bring those elbows right into the sides of the torso and focus on depressing or squeezing your shoulder blades down while you're doing the exercise. Now after three combination sets of pull-ups and pull-downs, we're done with those, and we're gonna move over to our last exercise, which is a T-bar row. Now, T-bar rows are a great back exercise, but the problem is a lot of times people will get a little bit uh, carried away with the amount of weight they're using, and they don't actually do the exercise correctly. It could lead to injury, and also it could lead to a situation where they're really not getting very good training effect to the, the muscles of the back. So let's take a look and make sure we're doing it right. I'm going to show you a common mistake with T-bar rows, and that's standing too straight up and down. Remember, gravity's pulling in a straight line down, so in this position, I'm really doing a lot of work for my trapezius muscles, which lie on the top of my torso, but I'm not really getting a lot of effect to the muscles in my latissimus and my back. Now I am, by bending a little bit farther forward. 
but it's very, very important that you keep that spine flat. You don't want to have a rounded back. That's why we're showing you. Keep the spine, the area from the hips to the shoulders to the ears, right in a straight, flat line. Let the lats stretch out and pinch them back together. You want to squeeze those shoulder blades back together like you're squeezing a pencil in between them. That is the correct way to do a T-bar row. Okay, so there you have it. There's four great back exercises that you can start to add to your routine this week. Or if you're on the fence about it, just try one this week, try one next week, try one the week after that, but I guarantee you're gonna be seeing great results. Join us again for Powerhouse Primers, and I'll see you back here. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you how to create a quick circuit where you're going to be using four different exercises and with those four different exercises you're going to be able to target basically the whole body.